George is too big for me. <laughs> Guys, to be with us for a few days, we loved him already. And Justin, can you tell us for a few moments why you're in Dublin, what it means to you to be here, and a little bit about the Detroit Water Brigade. Thank you, Ireland, so much for inviting us here. Thank you. We are here with you because your fight is our fight and our fight is your fight. We know what brutal austerity measures and water charges and water meters does to the people of our city where 40,000 families have been shut off because they can't afford to pay for water. brutal policies so we're here to tell you don't let your government do this to you don't let them take you down this road this slippery slope fight back we're here to stand in solidarity with you solidarity Woo! i'm sure sure is from a big district in detroit called highland park that has suffered terribly from deprivation from the industrialization and from migration but you, as the, the spiritual, I think you're a spiritual leader. I called her yesterday, the mother of the Detroit Water Brigade. She complained about that. So, can you tell us a little bit about your organization and, and what Island Park is like and what this means to you? Yes, I can. I am so honored and so, it's just so wonderful to be here. And I preach you in peace and love. Peace and love. from Detroit. We love you, we feel you. We really do feel feel what you're going through. We're here to let you know that we're standing up with you. We're water, water warriors with you. My organization is in charge of and alleviating a lot of the issues that water cutoffs have had. We pass out water. We have programs that we have hoses, water hoses from our house that we let people that don't have water come to the side of the house and fill up their containers with water. This is where you can go. This is very serious. This is where you, your, your uh, 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 country, this is what can happen to Dublin. You don't want this to happen to you. Okay, you don't want this to happen to you. As, as you think about things in the holiday season, I want you to think about, you watch Scrooge, you know Scrooge has a ghost, the ghost that come to visit him. Well, he has the ghost of the present, and he has the ghost of the past, and we're standing here because here, because we are the ghosts of your future. Do it, do it, do it, the ghosts of the future, of what they are trying to shove hold down up, hold your up, throat. Up. Do not accept it. Do not accept it. Stand strong. Be the water warriors that you are, and we're standing in solidarity with you. Do you guys are so wonderful. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
people on National Radio on Today FM and she got talking on the phone to a crocodile. At least would you like to tell us about the crocodile? His name was Eric Bone Labour TV, by the way. At least tell us about the crocodile. I know, yeah, I'm sorry, I know. That's what we're doing. Yeah, I'm resident of the I'm a mother yeah, that's the reason of five Rupert. children. I have experienced my water being shut off firsthand, so it is possible. Uh, I grew up in the city 20 years ago. You had told me that we would be paying these type of prices, or if you had told me as a child, that uh, we would have to uh, get our water shut off if we didn't pay, I wouldn't have believed you either. So it may seem far off, but it's not. And um, I am also an educator, an entrepreneur, uh, an entertainer, and a performer. And as an educator, Excuse me, man, there, I, have a that I tell some of my, a little bit my like. children sometimes <laughs> about the crocodile and the monkey. <laughs> and very quickly, the monkey wanted to get to the other side of the swamp, to the jungle where his family was. And so the crocodile said, come on over, you know, I'll, I'll take you over. And the monkey said, I don't know, you're a crocodile. And he said, oh, no, 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 I ate already, I'm full, just come on, get on my back. So the monkey gets on his back, and they're talking, and they're friendly, and they're having a good time. But before the monkey got to the other side of the swamp, what do you think that crocodile did? Yeah. See, he tricked the monkey to come up, and he chomped him. And as he's eating the monkey, <laughs> The monkey's crying out saying, why are you feeding me? What did I do? You said you were my friend. You said you wouldn't charge me double for water. You said you would let me have free water. You said you wouldn't cut me off. And the crocodile said, I'm eating you because I'm a crocodile. <laughs> so think about that as you're moving forward and you're listening to what they say, whoever they is, they say about what's not going to happen. We are living proof. And so many thousands of us in the city of Detroit are living proof that a crocodile is a crocodile. Woo! Nico, you're very welcome. Uh, they used to say, but they still say that we've got some of the best educated people in Europe. But I'm beginning to wonder about that. Because in the last few days, some of those educated people who work in the media have been saying they don't really get Thanks educated. very much between what's happening in Ireland and what's happening in Detroit. And I'm wondering about all these educated people's education, Miko. Can you help them? Yes. I am coming to let you know, please do not let them trick you. Do not let them make false promises like we have been made false promises. We have been told, oh, well, we're not going to give you an emergency manager. We're not going to privatize the city. But if you sign this contract, we won't do any of these things. So. We're just like, okay, well, we don't want an emergency manager. We don't want our private city privatized. So, foolishly, we signed the contract. And they said, come back and said, oh, you're not doing enough. But yet, you're doing a good job, giving everything that you have. But give us the, let, let, let us sign this contract. And they, we, we signed the contract again. Three months later, we got an emergency manager. So then they say, oh, well, you're making milestones, but you're not getting enough. And we still have work to do. So sign this off. And next thing we know, we're in bankruptcy. And the bankruptcy, our water has been privatized, our schools have been taken away from us, our old city blocks are auctioned off to the highest bidder, and the elites are eating crab cakes and drinking champagne while they're taking away our water. We say no. We say no. And we're going to fight back. We're going to take this city back. We're going to take it back from government to Detroit. Water is a human right. And I Detroit and George from Greece. I've learned a lot in the last few days about what's going on in Detroit. But I'll tell you what, these people do not need our sympathy. These people are an inspiration. Yeah. These people are our guidance. We're going to learn so much from these. We're going to make this bond stronger. And we're going to work with groups, with cities and countries all over the world. Hold it's not going to be the forces of austerity. It's not going to be Franklin's way or Labour's way. It's going to be our way. Yeah. Woo! As Richard Boyd Barrett said earlier, what well, Ender Kenny said a few weeks ago, what well, Ender Kenny said a few weeks ago, it's not just about water. He's right, it's not just about water. It's about you, Ender. Yeah. It's about you, Joe. Yeah. It's about your lies. It's about your corruption. It's about your anti
empty democracy, but from now on, it's about the people. Now I'm going to finish up. I want to say a great tribute to you all, not only for coming a quarter past two today, my friend Alex, and she's not one for exaggerations, my friend Alex told me she never tells lies either, there were a hundred thousand people or more, they couldn't get here. It's not here. Hour, for the first hour and a half was safety because people were coming around those streets and it was getting all a little bit uncomfortable. We were getting messages from the Gardaí. Some people didn't get here. Some people didn't get across the street from Walsall Street. Some, not, some people didn't get across O'Connell Bridge. The next time we have an event, we are going to have to have it in Croke Park. Hey! Yeah. You know, Croke Park is the third largest stadium in Europe. And it's not going to be big enough for this movement. Woo! We're welcome to the screen now by a wonderful band of traditional Irish musicians from the west of Ireland, from Ganamara and Galway. Kitchen Station, ladies and gentlemen.